four feet on the stripes in the Alabama highway. Out there in the open, just a wishing and a hoping. I could smell the pines when I let you in the doorway. Took the seat next to mine like you've been It's 12 o'clock now. I put on a sweater because I got a little cold, but here's everything I sculpted. In a span of around three hours, I finished up this wedding commission. It's a little frog wearing a traditional Vietnamese garment as well as a hummingbird wearing a veil. I'll show better close-ups of these later, but I also made some Maxines, which are my goldfish characters, a mini sprout radish, and this will be wearing a cowboy hat. This frog was already baked, by the way. I think this hummingbird probably took me the longest time to make, but the wings still have to be painted. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this commission once I get back from school. I have to head to my class in about 10 minutes. Today, we are sponsored by our good friend, Love Bonito. You may remember me working with them back in January, which was five months ago now, but the pieces I got from them are still some of my favorites. Love Bonito holds a special place in my heart because they are one of of the few brands that strives to make Asian women feel seen, heard, and celebrated through fashion. In fact, they were created in the first place because the founder saw that a lot of the clothes made by most major fashion brands were catered towards tall women with hourglass figures, and that just wasn't the body type of the Singaporean woman in the community that she lived in. So 10 years later, they're still on a mission for Asian female representation. Everything from their sleeves, hems, and waists are cut to fit those more petite in stature. And if you're a design nerd like me, Love Bonito also chooses proprietary Pantone colors to flatter those with a golden and olive skin tone. I'm in love with their modern and thoughtful designs, and they actually listen to their community for solving daily problems, such as having actual deep functioning pockets. This has been my favorite dress to wear for special occasions or just casual cafe dates. And I cannot stress enough, there are pockets. So upgrade your closet with clothes that are made to fit you with Love Bonito. Go to the link in my description box below and use promo code LBXUncomfy for 10% off your order of $110 or more. And thank you Love Bonito for sponsoring this video. It's a beautiful spring day. Just grabbed my cap and gown. It's really happening you guys. This was my biggest goal of the year and I reached it not even halfway through the year which is really really crazy. I'm not good at celebrating myself but right now I'm, I'm more thankful than anything. Oh gosh, I don't want to ruin my makeup. I literally wrote it down right here. My goals for 2023 is 100k on YouTube and I did it. I did it. Thank you so much for supporting me, for consuming my content, for commenting. I'm not even kidding you. I read every single comment that I get on my channel. If a video has 100 comments, 200 comments, I read it. And to be able to comfort others and make people's lives a, a little bit better, that's something that I never thought I'd be able to do but I'm, I'm doing it, which is crazy. Um, I really do work super, super hard for you guys and I hope it shows. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Part of being a business owner is to keep track of all the supplies you need and when you're gonna run out of things, but I tend to go more by like 
an intuitive approach. I don't really record anything. I, I probably should. I sort of just see when I'm running low on things and then I write down on a sticky note to order it and then I'll do it, you know? This is my new favorite resin. This one is not quite out yet, but it's on its last legs. This is like a higher quality resin made from Japan, so um, there's less fumes. I feel like in my heart, it's a little safer for you too, but obviously I'll still wear my respirator and gloves and everything. I'm really excited for this because it came with little accoutrements. This is, I believe, a silicone mat, so I don't ruin my workspace, which is really, really awesome, and silicone is so easy to clean, so that's so smart of them. It also cures really fast, and it doesn't yellow over time, which is something that I've been really struggling with with UV resin. I've tried so many different brands, and I have high hopes for this one that they'll be like not archival quality but super long lasting because it is plastic and then another like uv light i have so many of these at this point but i guess it's good to have extras i have a consultation for an accounting firm really soon so i'm gonna hop on that call right now hi there That was scary. <laughs> I ruled out the silicone mat because I'm gonna be glazing these guys before I head to school. This is the finished wedding couple. They're so cute. Shout out to my friend Kate for giving me these free brushes. No matter how much I try to take care of my brushes with resin, like it just like destroys the bristles. haircut <laughs> it was sort of a spontaneous in the moment decision i was just getting super sick of my hair and i wanted to just chop it off so she thinned out the ends of it and gave me a little bit of layers and she also trimmed my like face framing parts i do want to invest in like the proper hair tools to style this she said just to get the round brush hair dryer so probably gonna buy that on amazon soon but yeah i'm just super psyched about this but also another thing i'm really excited about it's finally sunny and beautiful again. It's been gloomy on and off throughout the week. And I was really hoping that today would be sunny so I could take proper photos and pictures of these guys. For the past three weeks, I've been working on this super special commission. They're wedding cake toppers for my client's wedding. That's in June. So it's May 5th right now, so it's just in time to ship these out. I feel like both of these were moderately difficult to make, especially the little veil for the hummingbird. My client's partner is wearing an Ao Yai, which is a traditional Vietnamese garment. And I didn't realize how much this commission would mean to me until I was making it and I was sending pictures of it to my parents because they're also Vietnamese and they loved it. This, it was truly like their most favorite thing that I've ever created. This is the first time I've ever sculpted a character with Vietnamese clothing. It was, it was really special for me to make and I'm so honored that this client reached out to me and she's also a fellow artist so she was super patient with the timing and she allowed me to take my time with these and now I, I gotta really ship this out so I'm gonna be packing this order along with a couple orders like literally just four other packages. I've been pretty slow at sculpting. I extended my processing time just to be more transparent that I am working a little bit slower not just because of my schedule and graduating waiting in thesis and everything but also I'm just trying to take better care of my health these days I'm trying not to push and push and push as hard as I usually do I mean it sounds like I'm giving labor I guess I'm just trying to take care of myself and that's why I extended my processing time but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna pack some orders now my desk is getting so messy I'll clean it up after I'm done with this baby sticker sheet
This is like the most perfect bumblebee I've ever made. <laughs> Bye now. Why do you guys like my goldfish? Now could they upset? Now hunts you don't know. Can bounce you need more. Anna ordered a Maxine the Goldfish enamel pin, a Radish Spirit sticker pack, as well as the Maxine memo pad. Like I said, super small batch, but we're going to the post office and get lunch, and then I'll have the rest of my Friday. We just got back from lunch. I'm really full, so I'm wearing my PJs now. And now I'm gonna edit a TikTok video. If you guys have been following my journey for a long time, you know that I actually started off with short form content. But as I slowly put more and more energy towards YouTube, I started posting less frequently on my Instagram and my TikTok. But now I wanna try to get back into it, get back into the swing of things now that I'll be done with school really, really soon. And then, yeah, I just, I just want to be present again throughout all my different communities, short form and long form. We are moving to the closet now because I forgot that the laundry is running and I don't want the laundry machine to be in the back of my TikTok. If you're ever trying to do a voiceover, your closet is like your best friend. It has the best acoustics because all of the clothes are absorbing any echoes and ricochets that might sound. These antlers are from like Christmas. <laughs> I've already sculpted the base, so now I'm painting the hummingbird. She wanted it pink with cornflower blue on the top. Acrylic paint always dries darker than what you originally mix it as, so I accounted for that and sculpting for the past four hours I want to say so I'm gonna take a break now go to the mail room and get some packages but this is our haul our harvest if you will doesn't look like much but each of these are $60 $40 these three small ones are $35 each and then these two are $40 each so I think I did a good amount of work so I ordered new freebie stickers Here's these ones. It's a little tulip radish for like spring and summer. But I also got these ones. And I don't know, one of them I have to sell and one of them I'll have to give away as freebie stickers. So um, I think I'll sell these ones just cause the design is so much more complex. I also wanted to show you guys these stickers that I got like a couple weeks ago, probably almost a month ago now, 
but I don't know I designed these on a whim and I think they are so funny sorry about the glare but yeah they're vinyl stickers they're huge and and it's like you're squeezing Maxine by the cheek it's so cute and then I made this one my infamous frog and crocs charm so cute um, they're on my planner right now actually and I wish I made them with a clear border instead of the white one because then it'd look even funnier but yeah I initially ordered them to have on display for my thesis like you know as a freebie for my thesis display but not even a week after the gallery opened for my thesis they're all gone all 50 of them are gone so now there's only like 15 or so each left to sell in my shop so if you want to grab one of these do it because otherwise you'll have to wait for me to restock and that's not fun i am gonna make dinner now for the first time in like months we'll see how it goes the request for the night was broccoli cheddar soup ironically cheddar is like the least used ingredient in this recipe i think do you want to shred the carrot Thank you for watching this vlog. I'm gonna eat dinner now, but yeah, I hope you liked it. <laughs>